I was only seven years old when my father was overthrown in the coup organized by the CIA. I remember having to hide under the bed during the bombing. My parents did their best not to worry us, but we soon realized how serious things were and the dangers that we faced. Guatemala was a very backward country, based on a colonial, almost feudal system. One of the first things that my father, Colonel Jacobo Arbenz, did as president was to bring in reforms to modernize farming. America's United Fruit Company, which had enormous economic power in Guatemala at the time, didn't like the changes. They became very upset when they saw that their monopoly was being affected. This was the time of the Cold War, so they took advantage of this to label my father a communist, which was totally untrue. And that's how they promoted and justified the idea of an invasion. Aircraft parachute meager supplies to the pasture airstrip as the rebel drive to oust the red-tinged government bogs down. The shabbily clad, poorly trained troops striking from Honduras overran the sleepy town of Esquipulas. The basic plan of the CIA was to promote an invasion from neighboring Honduras. They trained mercenaries in the US and in Honduras too. But at first, when they crossed into Guatemala, the army managed to beat them back. My father spent most of the time in the Ministry of Defence. I remember him always looking very worried, pacing up and down, smoking, trying to work out what to do next. When aeroplanes started bombing Guatemala City, my father moved us out of the presidential palace. And then his fellow officers got scared and told him, Colonel, we can no longer support you. Carrying anti-communist banners, jubilant soldiers celebrate victory following their two-week revolt in Guatemala. My father resigned as president on June the 27th, 1954. I have taken a momentous decision for our country in the hope that it will halt the invasion and bring peace back to Guatemala. I remember that my sisters and I were only allowed to take a few toys with us when we left. Unfortunately, the invasion and the coup had a terrible lasting effect on our family, but also on the Guatemalan people. Living in exile, I tried to stand up for myself, but to be honest, it wasn't easy. My sisters took it all very badly and resented what had happened. As a result, in 1965, one of them took her own life and the other one did the same in 2004. My father died a very bitter man, disappointed that what he had tried to do for Guatemala had been so misunderstood.